Okay guys, so a really quick look at this tiny little Pico projector. Comes in a really cool, nicely laid out box. Gives it a real nice look of good quality with the uh, way they presented this thing. So that's pretty impressive. There's the front there. And on the back side, it's a DLP projector, the model name. Uh, 80 lumen DLP display, 120 inch projection max, uh, 640 by 480 resolution, uh, 30,000 hour LED life, the contract ra uh, contrast ratio 4x3, uh, 1000 to 1, Wi Fi uh, 2.5 gigahertz, and I did connect it to my Wi Fi network to the 2.5 uh, or to the uh, uh, 5 gigahertz, also 5 gigahertz. I did it to the 5 gigahertz, I'm sorry. It's got an 1800 milliamp battery, dual speaker, supports USB OTG cables, SD card, DLNA, Miracast, and AirPlay screen mirroring. So, I wanted to show you that real quick and then get that out of the way. So, we have a very easy to follow user manual here. I've got my own little uh, micro USB because that's what it takes to power this unit. Uh, and I'm just running it off of that right now instead of the battery, uh, just so I can charge it up, uh, play with it some more after I finish this. has the included micro USB cable if you want to use the one they supply. Then you have your USB um, charge uh, insert here for the USB. You'll notice the plug is not your typical US plug, but that's okay. They provide you with this little adapter here which has the US plug right there. So, not really a problem since they actually provide that for you. And I believe you just plug that in there. Yeah. So, you got all kinds of different plugs there if you need it. And this is a little user manual that goes with the actual plug. Um, itself. You have this little adapter that's uh, adapter tripod that's included with a little adapter I've already went ahead and attached and this will of course just sit right down in to that and it will stay so it's just kind of a pressure fit and this is obviously just a little tripod adjustable like normal little rubber feet on the bottom so pretty cool and then you have the little projector itself you have a little reset button some vents uh, speakers, vents, on the back you have the vent, you have your power plug, your LED indicator, your input for a headphone or 3.5 audio, micro SD card, which it does include an adapter as well as an SD card. Um, it's 8 gigabyte. I already had my own with some stuff loaded on it, so I had, uh, went ahead and threw that in here. Then you have the focus here at the top. On the front, of course, you have your lens. And that's pretty much all there is to it. This little piece here is like a little handle. So it's pretty cool. On the top is your buttons. You have your power and your return and your OK in the center. And then the four directional arrows. And it's basically about the same size as a double A battery which is just impressive um, as I was saying before you know there are some different uh, support uh, uh, supported formats as far as airplay and and mirror cast and everything so I'm just casting from Android and I'm just using this as a little example um, so you can kinda see that um, just a lot of fun to play with and to have such a small little uh, item Obviously, I'm just showing you a little screen right there. Eh, that's the streaming of my Nexus 7 that broke up a little bit. But as you can see, 
it's actually very clear. It's very small right now, obviously, but we're going to go to a bigger. I just want to show you that real quick. Um, so that is the casting. Um, I want to back out of that. Main menu here, you can connect your Wi-Fi through the settings you see on the bottom. Uh, over on the left, we have the media player. So I go down, hit OK, SD card, uh, let's do videos, and that's one of the videos right there. Arrow button when you're playing it is the volume, so, so it's pretty loud for such a little unit. I think I went... And I'm playing back an MP3 on there now. So up and down is what navigates between the different uh, files you saw there. Now it's the volume on that. If I hit that. So you can see I have the Dragon video and I have the uh, mp3 so if you wanted to play music or whatever you could and I just played both of those and you use the arrows to navigate and adjust your volume if I back out of that and go to photos hit the center button for ok that's a picture of my car let's see I'm not sure if there's another photo on that one or not this oh actually it's two pictures of the same thing that's why um, yeah two identical pictures. So very easy to uh, navigate and play around with this device and very very tiny. So let's take a look at it in the uh, a darkened room so you can kind of see what it looks like in a, a larger capacity. Okay? Thanks. Alright, so please forgive the movement. I'm actually trying to hold the camera and hold the little projector at the same time just because I don't really have a good place to set it up because it's so small um, the area where I have to set it up at just basically is the middle of my bed and I don't have anything to set it on. Uh, but I wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like on the actual, well not really a screen so much as a, a white sheet that I use as a little screen in the bedroom. Uh, but I wanted to give you an idea of what this looks like. Um, so it's actually very cool. I'll try to hold it still as I can real quick. So, very, very nice for such a tiny little item. Um, just very impressive. Alright. So, I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like. And um, other than that, thank you for watching. Please uh, read the text for a little more specification information uh, that may be of interest. Um, this is primarily to show you what it looks like. Okay? I'm going to just skip to the uh, next track or video. Okay. Thank you very much.